Alright, hey everybody. It's day after St. Patrick's Day. Me and Jessica had a really, really good time. So, uh, let's do a little comfort food, some Korean food. I uh, haven't done this yet, but man, it looks really good, so let's get it started, man. All we gotta do is start marinating this beef. I got some steak over there that I sliced up. Uh, it calls for a leaner, uh, like a sirloin, stuff like that, but that's all I had. It was just like a chuck. So, <clears throat> let's start this out with we need to get some soy sauce in here. Uh, calls for, let's see here, let's see here, half a cup of soy sauce to about a pound or so of beef here. Let's see. Get that in there. Get uh, some rice wine vinegar. That calls for a fourth of a cup. in. Alright. Okay, let's see here. We need just about a tablespoon of sesame seed oil. Got enough. Need a little bit of honey. About, let's see where the honey is here. Honey, tablespoon as well. I don't have any cut up ginger, but I do have powdered ginger, so let's put some of that in. Probably a good teaspoon. Okay. <clears throat> calls for garlic. Calls for how many cloves? Calls for three cloves of garlic. So let's just put some in here. This is just the jarred stuff, of course. I like my garlic, so let's do a little extra. Okay. Calls for uh, red pepper flakes, a uh, teaspoon of that. Looking good. And we need a little bit of brown sugar. So, calls for, let's see here. A uh, teaspoon of that. Okay. Let's give this a stir. Get that honey mixed in there. Good. Now I've got some green onions sliced up. You can see that, um, and a, just a little bit of a sweet onion going in. Okay, and with our steak, let's mix it about, and we're going to marinate this for a couple hours. That smells fantastic, so hopefully when I get out to barbecue it, or I might just even um, do it in just a cast iron skillet tonight. It's not supposed to get too warm. too warm today. It's supposed to stay cold again, so. Okay, just push it down so it's all in the liquid. Oh, man, it smells really good. So, uh do this and then we're gonna have a side dish as well stay tuned with me alright guys let's start on um, the side dish you need a tablespoon of soy sauce then uh, you need two minced pieces of garlic of course I'm gonna use the canned stuff again and go a little extra just cuz you know I want my breath to smell fresh first thing in the morning. 
two tablespoons of all, um, sesame seed oil. Okay. Mix that up. Ooh, don't go down there, boy. Put that right there. Okay, now, this, got a pot of water boiling. Um, can you see me? Yeah, you can see me. This got the stems and all. This is spinach. You see to kind of try to put the stems first and then push it down. Ouch. That water's hot. I don't know why. It's boiling. So we're going to give this about 30 seconds to a minute. Salt Crank up the heat again. Push this down. I did turn my heat down a little too low. Once it started boiling. So I'm gonna give it a minute. Let me turn this off and I'll be back. All right, I'll let this roll for about 45 seconds. Get some cold water going here. <clears throat> Turn off my burner. <clears throat> Pump that in and get this cold without the sponge. Unless you like eating sponge. <clears throat> Nice and cold. Get it cold, boy. Okay. Alright. Feeling cold. Feeling cold. Alright, so then... I'm trying to... What you do is squeeze out this water. Alright, it's squeezing off. Go over here. You see me? We'll cut it. that direction cut it again that direction cut it that way alright goes in the bowl this time just mix it all together On, pull all the leaves apart Mix all our garlic and onion. Once again, like I say, it smells good. If you like garlic, this is the way to go about it. Korean food, definitely. Always have their garlic in it. Let's pull these shreds apart. Put this in the refrigerator and let it cool down. Well, I mean, it's cool, but let it marinate. How about that? All right, let's get ready for this uh, Korean beef. I'm not going to do it outside, man. Now it's raining and everything. I was supposed to cook this yesterday, but I didn't feel like it. We had uh, sandwiches instead. So let's get started. So this stuff's been marinating overnight. Man, man, it smells great. Let me get a fork. I'm thinking that's going to be helpful. 
in some way or another. Get this all in the pan. Uh, it smells great. So yeah, let me get this all in. Oh man, it smells amazing. Alright, I've got it in there. <clears throat> um, you know, this would have been a little easier on the grill. But, I'm going to let it marinate in a lot of that sauce. Cook it in there. And, I think they call it bulogi or something close to that when you do it like this way but I think it's gonna enhance it we're just gonna cook it cook it simmer it down in this sauce it smells fantastic in my house I mean just amazing then you make incense like this or something so we'll be back here in a little bit all right whoa trip uh, let's start out Get yourself a uh, some lettuce. Got the the romaine stuff. Put that on. Then you want some rice. Okay. And then lay that right there some red chili paste this isn't spicy it's actually just real flavorful and we'll put that on make her a couple more and then we'll add that uh, side dish that I made and there you have it The Korean beef with the side spinach. Smells fantastic. I know it's good. So, we'll see you next time, y'all.